fellow Fijians both here and abroad and visitors to our beloved Fiji. As Christians in Fiji and throughout the world remember the birth of Jesus Christ this Christmas, I extend on behalf of my wife, Sarote, and our family our warmest regards to every Fijian. I also wish to thank the government and the people of Fiji for your confidence in my appointment as president of our beloved nation. My family and I will continue to pray for God's guidance so that I may perform my duties diligently and capably. The Gospels say that many years ago, the words, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased, resonated from a multitude of angels the night Jesus the Messiah was born. This Christmas, we are reminded once again of those words and their importance when we recall all that Almighty God has done for our nation. Today, we can safely say that Fiji has delivered on its promises to address issues of importance to the lives of our people. We have, for instance, played a lead role in projecting a unified Pacific voice on climate change, which poses an existential threat to the people not only here in the Pacific, but also in other low-lying and vulnerable countries across the world. Industrialized nations are making commitments to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and considering various forms of assistance to the vulnerable communities, and that is because Fiji and other Pacific Islands stood firm together and demanded it. Fiji has also stamped its mark on the international arena by reaching out to both traditional and non-traditional partners to strengthen existing ties and forge new ones. Our contributions on the regional and international levels and our subsequent recognition have been unprecedented. On the home front, Fiji has continued to do what we can to care for those less fortunate. The 2016 national budget, for instance, promises to reduce the overall cost of goods and services for the benefit of ordinary Fijians. The budget continues to focus on the development of infrastructure, on education and health, and among other things. It will allow all of us to do more to improve the overall socio-economic status of our people. This is made possible thanks to the positive and consistent economic growth we have experienced over the past six years. Almighty God has been good to Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, on a visit to the Western Division last week, I was saddened to see the effects of the near drought conditions on the land and to hear of its impact on the people, livestock and farms. We can be thankful, however, that the rain has started to fall. Our prayers have been heard and we praise the good Lord. I also saw some of the destruction caused by the termites and I'm somewhat relieved to learn that the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji is doing all it can to contain it. In this regard, I wish to advise and remind those who have been affected by the termites to reflect on what you can do to help yourself and contribute to the destruction of these pests. Ask the nation to remember you in our prayers. I also wish to echo the call made by the Honorable Prime Minister and other leaders for us to denounce all forms of domestic violence or sexual assault. I call on the nation to put an end to this. Let us respect all women and children and treat them with appreciation and love. Let us also make this Christmas and the days ahead one in which Almighty God is able to look with favor upon us because of the difference we make in the lives of women, children, the sick, and those with special needs. Christmas is not only important to Christians. It is also a time when those of many different faiths can come together. Christmas is a time of fellowship and merrymaking with family members and friends. Let me remind you that it should also be a time to make new friends and mend broken relationships, to be accommodating and to forgive. Christmas is also a good time to reflect on what has transpired, learn from shortfalls, and make commitments to do better or be a better person. It is a time to reach out to the less fortunate, whether it is through sharing, giving, visiting, talking, or just praying for someone. Let us for once be thankful for the gift of life and do what little we can to assist. We should also consider the many blessings we have received and appreciate everything from the simple things we so often take for granted to milestone achievements. We can be thankful for a constitution that is inclusive and respects other religions. We can be thankful for the breath of life we receive each day and for our health, well-being and security. 
This Christmas, I ask that we remember all Fijians who will be spending Christmas away from home, wives, husbands, daughters, sons and grandchildren whose family members are abroad working, studying or visiting, especially those serving as peacekeepers in some of the world's most volatile and dangerous conflict zones. I ask that we remember those who have lost loved ones through unexpected circumstances like accidents, drowning and other tragedies. We should remember families whose family members are hospitalized or are grieving. In addition, I pray that despite all these calamities, we will find favor with Almighty God and be filled with His peace during this season of glad tidings. My fellow Fijians, when we reach out to help others, we are helping make Fiji a better place. This is the least we can do this Christmas. Let us therefore glorify Almighty God through whatever little service we can offer this Christmas, in return, we will be blessed with peace, peace that Almighty God gives to those with whom He is pleased. I once again wish you all a peaceful Christmas and a blessed New Year. May God bless Fiji and all Fijians.